A lioness, gigantic with an unborn child lion in her body, was becoming powerless from absence of food. As the child lion developed heavier inside her, she was unable to move rapidly to the point of getting any prey. Thundering with misery and craving, and weighty with the child lion, the lioness nodded off at the edge of the woods close to a field. As she napped, she longed for seeing a group of sheep brushing. At the point when, in her fantasy, she jumped on one of the sheep, she snapped herself alert. With shock and extraordinary happiness, she found that her fantasy was valid, an enormous group of sheep touched in the field right close to her. Failing to remember the weighty child lion in her body, and actuated by the franticness of appetite, the lioness jumped on one of the youthful sheep and brought it into the profundities of the woods. The lioness didn't understand that during the effort of her frantic jump at the sheep she had brought forth the child lion. The herd of sheep were so deadened with dread by the assault of the lioness that they couldn't take off. At the point when the lioness had left and the frenzy was finished, the sheep woke from their daze. They started to cry out groans for their lost confidant, when, to their extraordinary awe, they found the defenseless child lion warbling in their middle. One of the mother sheep had compassion for the child lion and embraced it as her own. The youthful lion grew up in the midst of the herd of sheep. Quite a while passed, and there, with a herd of sheep, wandered a gigantic lion with long mane and tail, acting precisely like a sheep. The sheep lion cried out as opposed to thundering and ate grass rather than meat. This veggie lover lion acted precisely like a powerless, compliant sheep. At some point, one more lion walked around of the close by woods onto the green field, and to his extraordinary joy viewed this run of sheep. Excited with satisfaction and whipped by hunger, the extraordinary lion sought after the escaping group of sheep, when, with awe, he saw a colossal lion, with tail high hanging out there, escaping at maximum velocity in front of the sheep. The more established lion stopped briefly, scratched his head, and contemplated inside himself, I can comprehend the sheep taking off from me, yet I can't envision the reason why this robust lion ought to run at seeing me. This out-of-control lion intrigues me. Overlooking his appetite, he hustled hard and jumped upon the getting away from lion. The sheep lion blacked out with dread. The large lion was baffled like never before, and slapped the sheep lion out of his faint. In a profound voice he reproached, what's wrong with you? For what reason do you, my sibling, escape from me? Cry, cry, cry. Kindly don't kill me. Let me go. I'm not a lion, but rather just a poor, quiet sheep, cried the sheep lion. The huge lion gave the sheep lion a horrible shake. The sheep lion woke up and was shocked to observe that the impression of his head was not, as he expected, a sheep's head yet a lion's head, similar to that of the lion who was shaking him with his paw. Then the huge lion expressed, take a gander at my face and your face reflected in the water. They are something similar. My face thunders. Presently. You should thunder as opposed to crying out. The sheep lion, persuaded, attempted to thunder, however could create cry blended thunders. As the more established lion kept on urging him with slapping paws, the sheep lion finally prevailed with regards to thundering. Then, at that point, the two lions limited across the field, entered the woodland, and got back to the nook of lions. The above story plainly delineates how the vast majority of us, however made in the almighty picture and resemblance of God, have been brought up in the sheepfold of simple men and by this fall a survivor of personality emergency. We cry with dread, need, and demise, rather than thundering with eternality and power. We have permitted our current circumstance to characterize who we are as opposed to search internally and into the reflection of the expression of God to find our personality. James 1 verse 23. We will by the assistance of the essence of God this month replace that new lion dot and drag you to the pool of contemplation and give you such a hard shaking that you will open according to your comprehension. And view yourself as in a glass to rediscover your way of life. As a posterity lion of the clan of Judah, who as per God's heavenly nature has been given everything that relates to life and faithfulness through Christ. Prepare for a disclosure that will prompt a transformation in your life in Jesus' name. If you find this video helpful kindly like and subscribe for more videos.